harrowing adventures in Mongo's forest world of Arborea, Flash, Dale, and Zarkov rest in Baron's tree palace as they plan their next move to unseat the evil dictator, Ming the Merciless. You underestimate the Earthman, Father. Flash Gordon is a match for anything on Mongo. Silence, daughter. No man is a match for Ming the Merciless. Flash Gordon may have escaped this time, but I promise you, we will meet again. Yes, Flash Gordon. We will definitely meet again. And now, Chapter 8, The Frozen World. look like you could use a break. Ah, Arborea has the best tea on Mongo, but tea won't power our machines. We need a stockpile of Aurium if we're to stand a chance of defeating Ming. There is the only source of Aurium on Mongo that Ming does not control. Phrygia, a frozen land of ice and snow. And Orium. Who rules Phrygia? Queen Freya. And she is no friend of Ming's. But, I fear, she is no friend of Arborea either. You know Freya? Mm-hmm. She is my cousin. Very distant cousin, but there's always been ill feelings between Arborea and Phrygia. Then you'd better stay here, Baron. Doc, I suggest we get some pocket heaters in the event we get a chilly reception in Phrygia. You better make certain the rocket ship you pick holds three. I am not staying home. I didn't think you would. Good luck, Flash. We'll be back within a week with the Orion. Looking for someone? Fun. I thought he'd be here to see us off. You never know what to expect from a lion, man. Compared to the rest of Mongo, they're still in the Dark Ages. Fun? Think I'd miss an adventure like this? I'm glad you're with us, friend. <laughs> Next stop, Mongo's North Pole. Good luck, Flash Gordon. I'm afraid you'll need it. Sire, what is it? Radar has detected a large rocket ship leaving the Arborea sector. And where is it going? Its preliminary coordinates set its destination as the frozen continent, Phrygia. Phrygia, Queen Freya's domain. An alliance between Arborea and Phrygia with its Orium mines could be harmful to my cause. Send up a fighter patrol. I want that rocket ship destroyed. Yes, sire. And this time, let there be no failures. With any luck, Flash Gordon himself will be in that rocket ship. Which one is Earth Star? I believe uh, that one. It's so far away. I wonder if we'll ever get home again. We'll get back to Earth one day. I promise you that. As long as we're together, Flash. It doesn't matter which planet we're on. You 
seem worried, son. I'm always worried. It's the natural state of a lion man. But right now, I'm concerned about me. His robot fighters patrol this sector. So far, we've seen nothing. We've been intercepted. A Ming patrol. Strap in. We're outnumbered four to one. That should make it an even fight. Well, that cuts down the odds. But not enough, I'm afraid. Flash, look! Looks like Baron's Leaf Fighters are gonna give us a hand. Once more, you escape my grasp, Earthman. But fear not, I have a few surprises remaining. Storm ahead! Hang on, everyone. This may be a rough ride. Forming. I need more rocket boost. The main tubes are on full thrust now, Flash. It's a hundred below zero out. The ship is ice heavy. I can't hold her nose up. We've lost all power. We're going to crash. in time to get coordinates before we crashed. All I'm sure of is that we're somewhere in Phrygia. Any suggestions, Flash? I'm gonna climb to the top of that hill, try to get our bearings. Doc, you see if you can get any life out of our communicator. Dale, you and Thun see if there's any way we'll ever get this rocket ship off the ground again. I think it's made its last flight. I'm afraid you're right, but at least it'll give us protection against the cold. We may be stuck here for a long time. This doesn't appear to be one of Mongo's more heavily populated vacation spots. Now I know why. This charge isn't enough to even give that thing a tickle, but there might be another way. Sorry, you couldn't stay longer. The rocket motors are completely burned out. The radio wasn't repairable. Oh, Flash is coming back. I hope he's had better luck than us. All I know is we're a long way from nowhere. We've got company coming. A patrol from Phrygia. Shall we put the coffee on? Let's just hope they're friendly. It's more than a party. It's a royal party. And that has to be Queen Freya. She's beautiful. If you care for that type. You know you're my type. 
The barbaric lion man I recognize, but you are unlike any other I've seen on Mongo. I and my friends come from a faraway planet, Earth. Earth? I've never heard of it. And we never heard of Mongo or Phrygia until recently. How are you called, Earthman? Flash. Flash Gordon. Well, Flash Gordon, what brings you to Phrygia? Orium. We need it in our battle against the tyranny of Ming the Merciless. To speak against Ming is unwise. To live under the iron yoke of a dictator who calls himself an emperor is not my intent. You have spirit, Flash Gordon. I am no friend of Ming's, but I am also not foolish enough to challenge him openly. The time is coming when the people of Mongo will rise up. Perhaps, perhaps you shall even convince me to give you Orium. But for now, you will join me in my city of ice. Wait, you will ride with me. No, Dale. Freya likes Flash. And that's an edge we may need before we leave Phrygia. Welcome to Freya's city, Flash Gordon. That's quite a snow castle. Have you anything like it on your own world, Earth? Nothing like this. appears our good Queen Freya is quite taken with the stranger from Earth. We shall see, Captain, we shall see. Yes, I think we shall. Which should make my Emperor Ming a happy man and me a rich one. We may live in isolation from the rest of Mongo, Flash Gordon, but we live well. You do indeed, Queen Freya. Your city is an amazing place. There is little wood or stone here. Ice itself is our basic building material. Each area has its own heat conditioning unit. Without it, you might find yourself quickly frozen, as solid as these walls. We'll remember that. I fear the long journey has tired you. Please take time to enjoy the pleasures of Phrygia and then join me for a royal welcome. You will find the pleasures here to your liking, I am certain. Shall we leave these two to enjoy the pool by themselves? We'll see you two later. I'll join you. No, you won't. We haven't had five minutes alone together since we came to Mongo. You have something in mind? Until now, I was number one in Freya's favor. The Earthman is not going to take my place. This ought to cool off our guests. We have not found the man who tried to harm you and Miss Arden, but rest assured, he will be found and punished. I worry, Count Marlow. If Queen Freya reopens the Orium mines for the rebels, the Emperor Ming's wrath will be terrible to behold. That will never happen. Doctor, Count Malo and that captain bother me. They disturb me too, Dale. The Count is cordial enough, but I sense a deep anger underneath. 
I was told that Count Malo had become Freya's favorite until Flash came along. Beyond here lies the entrance to the Orium Mines. Where is the danger that caused your people to close the mines? There is a legend of a race of giants. There are also many fierce creatures that inhabit this part of Phrygia. Flash, look out! An ice worm. Run! life to save mine. I know, but a direct attack against that creature is hopeless. Push, men! Push! keep our friend occupied for a while. But I'd suggest we leave this area before the creature walks free. Your bravery this day will not go unrewarded, Count Malo. You saved my life, Earthman, after what I did to you in the pool. You? But why? I was jealous of you and Freya. I don't deserve to live. You have proved yourself a man today, Malo. Forget the past. What was Malo saying to you? It was personal. You're certain this is the easiest way to get to the mines? It's the only way. The giants! <laughs> Too many. You're right. Yeah, let's retreat so we can fight another day. So, Flash Gordon, you evaded Brooker's giants, but you'll not escape this. Flash, look out! It's an avalanche. Goodbye, Earthman, Queen Freya. Ming will make me a rich man for this day's work. Um, don't worry, Dale. If Flash got free, he'll bring help. returns with the armies of Phrygia. From where Flash Gordon is, he will not be returning. What have you done to Flash? Your precious Earthman is through meddling in Mongo affairs. This one I like. The others you may sell, but I keep this one for myself. No, Brooker. 
That one belongs to Emperor Ming. No! She's mine, not Ming's. This is Broker's kingdom. Take them to the pits! <laughs> no! Leave the woman. I fear for the fate which has befallen my lovely queen and the Earthman. I fear for Flash and Freya, but I also fear for ourselves. Are you all right? I think so. What do we do now, Flash Gordon? I'm going after my friends. It was my men also the Giants captured. I am going with you. Sometimes you remind me of Dale. I think I like that. Next week, don't miss Chapter 9, Monster of the Glacier.